three, if you are not here, Rex Phoney's gonna have to do a thousand burpees. 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. I didn't say anything about sitting down, so get your ass back up. 15, 14, let's go! Everybody here will be doing push-ups, motivational consequences. All right, everybody's walking, so everybody here, get down, push-up position. Get down, hurry up until everybody gets here. This is the way I ran my physical education classes. There are motivational consequences. Those are those that move slow and those that want to move fast but can't. Guys, everybody here. How about yes, coach? Is everybody here? Are you sure? Yes, coach. Yes, coach. Sir was my dad. I am coach. Repeat after me. Ah! Ah! See, you have two guys right back in the back that are making you be in the leaning rest because they did not get here on time. Ah! Ah! What's your first name? Lynn. Lynn? Lynn. Lynn. Repeat after me. Thank you, Lynn. That's not loud enough. Thank you, Lynn. 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 Are we having a good time yet? Yes, yes, coach. It's not yes, sir. It's not yeah. It's yes, coach. Is that clear? Yes, coach. Is that clear? Yes, coach. Is that clear? Yes, coach. Recover. Go ahead and stand up. Good job. Give yourself a hand. I am Coach Bergner. I am your drill instructor for the next hour and a half. You have to do what I tell you to do. Isn't that fun? I want to do it to the best of your ability. Technique for me rules. I have a workout that's on the board. Percentages and numbers for me mean absolutely nothing if my technique is faulty. You will always use in the snatch and in the clean, a hook grip. You will always use in the snatch and the clean a hook grip. If you don't use a hook grip, there are motivational consequences. In fact, I'm not gonna coach your ass if you don't use a hook grip. You will use that hook grip. There's a reason for that, because that barbell will slide out of your hand, which can deviate the position of the pull, the pathway of the pull. Yes, I know there's guys in here that are very, very strong. I saw you yesterday. You need to work on the Olympic lifts, I'll tell you. You're strong, but that bar that you're holding that you can deadlift 600 pounds with, it can slip in your hands and you still be successful. You cannot do that with the Olympic lifts. It will detract from the bar, proper bar path that we're going to have. Now, I want you to go ahead and understand that the uh, principles of teaching, the fundamental of teaching the Olympic lifts are stance, Grip and position, that's what it is. And there are six positions in weightlifting. I'm not gonna coach you on that unless I see you de uh, deviating from the positions. But the stance and the grip are everything. Do you realize that the floor is your friend? That floor is where you get your energy source from. And if you can just wrap your head around jumping that barbell through a range of motion, to create acceleration on the barbell, as well as elevation on the barbell. If you can wrap your head around that, and then as that bar's going up, where am I going? Down. So the energy source then transfers from the ground to the bar. It sounds complicated, but it's really not. The concept of landing, dropping, catching is not a good concept. It's soft, it's unaggressive. To be a good Olympic weightlifter, you have to be hardcore and you have to be aggressive. And you have to be fearless. And I can pull a barbell up, but look at my arms versus my legs. It's core to extremity, right? That's the whole concept. How many guys yesterday that I watched here last night were pulling the barbell up? There's a bunch of you, I saw you. I know this guy right here is so strong, it's unbelievable. And he can probably muscle snatch more than most of you that can snatch. But there will be a time, 
that his arms aren't going to be able to lift that up to a good weight that he can be able to snatch. Looking at him right now, I'd say he should be able to snatch 300 pounds. Can he upright roll 300 pounds? I don't think so. But he's that strong. So if you have the technique the right way, your buddy back there laughing at you. <laughs> so, because he's worse than you are. So, I, there's a bunch of you. Where's my other buddy? Uh, there's my other buddy right here, right? So the concept of understanding that you have to have stance, grip, and position for the fundamentals of teaching is absolutely everything. And we're not going to go through all that today unless I can pull you aside and get you to do the stuff the right way. We do have a workout that we're going to do. Now, the workout that I want you to do right now is take that PVC pipe with a snatch grip. Let's just get loosened up. I know you're, you had a hard, hardcore workout, and I get you after that. that that's going to be fine. All right, make sure you have the hook grip. Make sure your grip is about 8 to 10 inches over your head. No wider than that, because I got weak shoulders, I'm going to go wider. No narrow, not wide. You don't want to be too wide. You want to be right where you're supportive. You know, wide enough to have the bar in a good position overhead. Now, put it up there again. Show me your armpits. Give me external rotation. Now, as I got that external rotation up there, I want you to try to bend the bar. That external rotation is just created with internal torque. So your grips are a little bit too wide for these little wrists. So bring them in. Okay, now bend the bar. So I've got external rotation. Now I've created, by bending the bar, I've created internal torque. That internal torque is a very strong position overhead. Lock out the elbows. The elbows cannot be bent unless you have some kind of a, a deviation in there. So feel that position. Now move your feet out into the landing position and go ahead and squat down. Look straight ahead. Look straight ahead. Now, we know that there's a lot of you in here need mobility work and go ahead and stand. Now watch what I'm going to do with him. All right, so he's got a wide grip. This is the guy I was talking about. Very strong, very powerful. I'm sure he deadlifts 600 plus pounds. But he's overhead. The bar is where? It's behind his area of the base. How's he going to support that weight? He can't. He's not going to be able to support the weight. So I'm going to have him put the weight back within the area of the base, the feet. I want you to do a long lunge for me. Step way out there. Okay, step back, step out longer. Okay, how's that position feel? So he's now going to become a split snatcher while he's working on his mobility. It's the same pattern. It's the same pull. It's, everything's the same except he's going to receive the bar like this. And he's much more comfortable than stand up, go back into your overhead squat. Oh, that hurts, right? Stand back up, lunge again. He can stay here all day. So he becomes a split snatcher rather than the squat snatcher. So everything that we do today, try to do the split snatch, and I'll work with you on it. All right, so everybody put the bar at the high hang. All right, so I want three jumps out of you. I want you to jump one millimeter off the ground. I'm going to say down and finish, and you're going to say speed through the middle. This position right here is called the high hang. Your feet are in a jumping position, typically underneath your hips. But we do have a taller guy, so his feet might be a little bit wider because of that, his height. Or if I got somebody with a wide girth, his feet might be a little bit wider. But basically starting out, this position is going to be the position that you're going to, you're going to jump from. That's where you're going to snatch from when you lift the weight. All right, so as this part of this warm-up, give me three jumps on my command. I'm going to say down and finish. You're going to jump and raise your shoulders up. Your arms are going to be like ropes. They're not like two by fours. It's part of the burden and warm up. You're going to do jump down and finish. You're going to yell out speed through the middle. What's the purpose of this? Speed through the middle. If I want to coach you and I'm saying, you're not giving me enough speed through the middle, you know what you need to work on. So here we go. Stand by and down and finish. Speed through the middle. You better get louder. You better get louder. And here's the other thing. You come off the freaking ground. You come off the ground. That's why it's a jump. If you don't come off the ground, you can't move. 90% of all missed lifts are attributed to the ground, to your feet. So if I'm going to give you the little bitty ass jump like that, where I don't come off the ground, I'm not going to move. So set yourself up for the proper way to lift. Come off the ground one millimeter. Doesn't have to be 18 inches. It's just got to jump, jump. Look where my shoulders go. Look how my arms go. 
The arms are like ropes. Stand by. Two more. And down and finish. What'd you say? What'd you say? So the down and finish is geared for? All right, here we go. Last one. Stand by. And down and finish. Exactly. Now listen to me. When you do this work, understand the concept. When you're doing this work, you have to hit finish. Because the command was down and what? Finish. Finish is not straight up. Because if I go straight up and that bar comes along my body, what's the bar going to hit? My face, my chin, my head. So the finish is a position that puts me back somewhat, not a big C pull, but back somewhat so I can pull myself where? Down. I pull myself under the bar. How do I pull myself under? With my arms. Why? Because my feet are now where? Off the ground. So I got my energy source from the ground, but my feet are sliding out. They're off the ground. Now, as I'm going down, I pull, and that speeds me up under the bar. I never stop pulling, but I drive, then I pull. I don't pull and drive at the same time. I drive, and then I pull. And when my feet slide out, I'm pulling hard, and that slingshots me underneath the bar. Very important concept to have. Very important. All right, so three more. And I want you to concentrate not on up, but what? Finish. Not here. Think high chest. If I go down, and it's not hinging, if I go down, I'm flat-footed, and I drive up through the ground, I want my chest to be high because that positions me where? Around the bar. So I can pull myself down and around that bar as my feet slide out. So here we go, three of them. Stand by. And down and finish. Down and finish. Down and finish. Outstanding. Now, coaching point. If I make these arms like two by fours, then the bar is going to kick out. So the bar, the arms, they go along for the ride. Everything is here. The arms is holding the weight. It's yanking them here, but if I lock them in, it's going to kick out. So you want those arms to be like ropes. You want those arms to be like ropes. Um, do me a favor. Go get me that jump rope with that. All right, the next exercise I want to show you, is, and you come off the ground again. Don't come off the freaking ground. All right? I see everything, too, by the way. Everything. Next exercise is, a, is the one that you're all going to need. From the looks of what I saw last night, the bar is really getting away from your body, right? So you're kicking it out. You're bringing the bar in, and you're kicking it out. The only guy that can get away with this that brings it in and doesn't kick it out is Rich Foley. Okay, he's the only guy I know of that can do that. So they bring the bar in, and you drive it up. Hips up, bar up. Hips out, bar out. So the exercise now, we want to keep the bar close to the body. So we're going to do the down and finish. Down and finish, elbows high and outside. So you're doing the down and finish. Down and finish, elbows high and outside. You look at my feet. Are they coming off the ground? It's my dad. He'll turn over in his grave, for God's sake. All right, the arms are like ropes. Now, coaching point, watch this. I had a 15-year-old teach me this 50 years ago. 15-year-old girl, physics girl. I'm a dumbass. But this gal says, Coach, watch this. You keep talking about your arms are like ropes. Well, here's my arms, and they're like ropes. Here's the weight, right. He says, Coach, when you go down, you're talking, I was talking about ankle, knee, and hip extension. Ankle, knee, and hip extension. I understood that. But this 15-year-old didn't understand ankle, knee, and hip extension. The kids in my class had eyes like silver dollars, like, what the hell is this guy talking about? says, coach, there's your arms. There's your weight. When you jump, coach, what do you do? I load, right? I load. So when I load, I jump. What happens to the weight? 
Is it weightless? So what lifts the weight? The, ar the legs or the arms? Look at the arms. Are they lifting it? The legs lift it. When it becomes weightless, now the arms, now the arms come into play. The minute that I try to bring this weight load and pull with my arms, guess what? I can, I, even old fat Coach B can get this bar up, right? Put a 45 pound plate on this and I can't get it up. But I'll tell you what, I put a 45 pound plate on this and I jump it, it may not go up as high, but it'll go up. So the coaching point is you jump the bar through a range of motion. But when do I jump? You jump when it gets to mid thigh. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. I'm gonna drive that bar up with my legs to mid thigh, then I jump. And if you think anything else but jump, then you're a lot smarter than I am because I can't, to me, jumping's simple. Now it's not jump high, it's jump about driving the feet in the ground to create that. That's what I'm after. And you notice when I jump with the hips up, where does the bar go? Goes up. If I kick the hip, if I kick the hips out, where does the bar go? Now you've gone outside the least line of resistance. Okay. Last tidbit. The feet. Mark the feet. The feet are the area of the base. That bar never goes outside the area of the base. You always want to keep that bar in the least line of resistance. The least line of resistance. The minute that you start swinging the bar outside the area of the base, when the weight's light, you can get away with it, but when the weight's heavy, you're not. And you've got to get it out of your head about pulls. I'd rather say drive the bar up, pull the body down. Does that make sense? All right, so we've done the down and finish. We've done the elbows high and outside. Not yet. So here we go. Down and finish, elbows high and outside. You're going to yell, keep the bar closed. As you're doing this, you're still coming off the ground. You're still giving me that good position, that position that's going to lead me under the bar. If my position's here, the bar's going to hit me. And so what are you going to do? You're going to want to flip it out. Now you've gone outside the least line of resistance, right? So it's going to be a down and finish, elbows high and outside, and you're going to yell out bar close. So here we go, stand by. And down and finish. Louder. Stand by, down and finish. Stand by, down and finish. Now that was your best one. Your second one, I'm seeing a lot of this, right? You're going to put yourself in a harm's way. Get that good position, good position at the finish. Remember, stance, grip, and positions. Position, position, the position of finish is a position. The down is a position. The finish is a position. Stance, grip, position. Stance, grip, position. I can do the stance, I can have the grip, but I miss my position. You're not going to be successful when the weight starts getting up into that 80, 85% range. Does that make sense? Okay, so I've got to about 30 of you that said yes, coach. The other ones don't care. Are you pissed at me or something? You're not, is, am, am I okay of being here? I mean, is it okay? Are you gonna freaking yell or not? Yes, sir. Thank you, because I get my ass excited doing this stuff. And when I got a class out there going, you know, coach, Rich Froney hurt me today. I'm really tired. My first workout was just terrible. You know what? I didn't do the workout, so I don't care. <laughs> if you're hurting, too freaking bad for you. I get to hurt you more. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you, God, thank you. All right, next exercise, I want a strong turnover because last night I saw some of the ugliest turnovers I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God. I mean, I saw a nice leg drive. I saw a pretty nice trying to pull the bar up over your head, bullshit. And then I saw like little sisters of the poor turnover, <laughs> right? That, that doesn't, you don't do that stuff. You pull yourself down and around the bar when your feet are off the ground. You can't pull a barbell up if your feet are off the ground. That sling slides your body. So I have to have a strong turnover. All right, with me by the numbers, stand by. 
Get your feet squared away. Get your stance squared away, your grip squared away. You're a big ass dude, move your hands out. Jesus Christ. All right, here we go. Stand by and down, hit that down position. Your feet should be balanced right here. You should not be back on your heels. You shouldn't be on the toes. You should be balanced. Stand. Shoulders up and back. Elbows high and outside. Turn it over to the forehead. Punch it overhead. That's a muscle snatch. The purpose of the muscle snatch is strong turnover. Let's do it again by the numbers. And down. Stand. Shoulders. Elbows. Always the elbows when I'm going under should have the elbows higher than the wrist, the wrist higher than the bar for as long as possible. Turn over to the forehead, punch. And don't re-bend the knees when you're doing this. So here we go. Let me have this PVC pipe. This is what it's supposed to look like. And this is the muscle snatch. Stand by and down and finish. Strong turnover. And down and finish. Strong turnover. And down and finish. Strong turnover. The strong turnover is this action. You're pulling yourself down and around the barbell. You're punching your body into that squat. In order to get strong with that turnover, I do muscle snatches. If I'm taking a look at him, I never have to work on muscle snatches with him. He's strong. But when we get later on, he's going to have fun with me. Or I'm going to have fun with him. All right, here we go. So muscle snatch, strong turnover. Stand by. Don't go yet. We're not hinging. I called down. That, that position down, is that, that's a position. That's down. This isn't down. That's evil. There's down. This is where I need to be. That's down. You need to feel your feet. I, I could talk about this all day long, and you'd be so amazed how much better you get when you start with this. But you start doing this, where's the bar going to go? All right, here we go. Muscle snatch, stand by, stand by, and you start from the high hang every time. Stand by, and down and finish. Strong turn. Reset. Now re listen to me. Yes, I can bring this thing over my head. It's light. I want you to go through the patterns. Down, stand, shoulders, elbows, turnover, punch at a thousand miles an hour. I don't want you to take this thing and go like that. That makes sense? That gives me nothing. Stand by. And down and finish. There you go. Don't re-bend the knees. Reset. Move your grip out too. Last one. Move your grip in. If you got the hook, you better have the hook grip. If you don't have... <laughs> Who's your best friend here? Who's your best friend? That guy? He's your best friend? Okay, when we're done this, you owe him five burpees. Because he didn't have the hook grip. You can, you can pay him off later. All right, here we go, last one. Here we go. This is all in fun anyway, by the way. All right, here we go, last one. Muscle snatch. Stand by and down and finish. Don't, turn over. Don't you're doing a snatch. And reset. Last one, No, look, it's, a, it's an upper body strength move. It's an upper body strength move. It's geared for this. That's the turnover. That's why I'm using The minute that I bend my legs, it becomes a leg exercise. I don't want a leg exercise. I want an upper body strength exercise here. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Thank you, God. Jesus. All right, here we go. Last one. Here we go. Muscle snatch. Strong turnover. Stand by. Down and finish. Strong turnover. Don't move. Don't move. Keep the ball over your head. All right, from this position, I'm going to say land. You're going to land about six inches. And you're going to stay right there. Stand by and land. We're going to look at footwork. Stay right there. I'm looking at your positions. Show me your armpits. Break the bar. Show me your armpits. Show me the armpits. Show me the armpits. Show me the armpits. Break the bar. That's too wide of a grip. That's too wide of a grip. Show me the bar. Break the vent. Break the armpits. Break them. Break, break the bar. How are we feeling? Good? Reset. All the way up to the top. Don't put the bar down. Landing. Let's go all the way down to parallel. Stand by. And land. Feel that position. That's already better. No shit. That looks a lot better. Too bad for you. And reset. 
All right, here we go. I, if you put that bar down, I'm going to give everybody in here one million burpees. <laughs> Reset. All right, last one, all the way down. And land. Ooh. Lock out the elbows, lock out the elbows, lock out the elbows. Reset. And reset. Down here. What? Girl, you haven't seen anything yet. All right, last thing we're going to do, put the ball over your head. Okay, when I say land, you're going to land all the way down and stay down there. And stand by and land. Repeat after me. Thank you, Coach Bergner. Thank you, Coach Bergner. We love you, Coach Bergner. We love you, Coach Bergner. Yeah! No! Put the ball on your back. <laughs> Press the ball over your head. Put the ball on your back. Press the ball over your head. You still love me? Yes. Put the ball on your back. Press the ball over your head. How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> Reset. All right. I hate to tell you this. You need that every day. Swear to God. I, I think I could make you a, a squat lifter, not a splitter. But if I were you, I'd be doing the split for a while. All right. Take the PVC pipe. Put it back over there and come on over here by the workout. You got 30 seconds. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, take a knee. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. If you hadn't have made it, I was going to make throning do push-ups oh, for your ass. <laughs> He'd be embarrassed. He will kick your ass at the end. Agreed. All right. All right, here's the workout today. So you had the warm-up. I love that warm-up, by the way, because I don't have to do it. But you guys did. not You need that warm-up every day. And you need to add the skill transfer exercises to it, but I didn't want to go through that with you. But that exercise at the very end, the Zotz presses, I'm telling you, you'll make yourself better if you do that every day. You can push yourself into that position so that you'll get the mobility that's needed. Fundamentals of teaching, again, are stance, grip, and position. Always has been, always will be. What's it take to be a good weightlifter, a greater weightlifter? You have to have mobility, speed, and strength. In that order. In that order, mobility, speed, and strength. Once I have the mobility and I'm going to stretch you in the positions, there's nothing I can do that any of this stuff is great. I love it. But the only way I'm going to get you to get where you need to be is to make me be in your face over there doing those Zotz presses. A week from now, you'd be amazed on all that scar tissue and everything else is going to be broken down. You're going to be outstanding. You can do this stuff because you're certainly strong. Here's the workout for the day. You're going to get yourself set up. Try to get with a partner, because this workout, if you can get with, I don't think three people will work, but two definitely can work. Try to get with two people if you can. You're going to, the warm-up you've done, you're going to do three position snatches, just with the bar. You're going to do a high hang. This is the high hang, guys. That's not the high hang. That's the down. This is the high hang. That's a position. High hang. So you're going to do three high hang snatches, right? A snatch is a snatch. It's not a squat. It, I don't even know how to say squat snatch. Three high hang snatches. That means all the way down, right? So you're going to do a three position. You're going to do a high hang times one. Then you're going to take it, stand back up. You're going to take it from the hang. You're going to snatch it. And then you're going to do one from the ground. Now, you don't have any weights on there. You can add light weights. I don't really care. But I just want you to get loosened up with that pull to feel the weight. The next thing you're going to do is two positions. You're going to pick up the bar the right way, and you're going to deadlift it all the way to the high hang. And then you're going to go down to the hang, and you're going to snatch it. Then you're going to go from the floor, and you're going to snatch it. There it is. Once you're done with that, you're going to take about 30%. I really, I'm not, 
I'm not big on this percentage stuff. Snatch it three times from the ground. You're going to snatch it three times. And then about 40 or 50%, you're going to snatch it twice. And then the last one at 60%, so all this, if I got a guy that can snatch 100 pounds, 100 kilos, then this is going to be 30, 40 kilos for three, 40 or 50 kilos for two, 60 kilos for one. Right? Now the workout begins. Now this is the butt kicker. Well, you're going to take 65% of your best lift or 65% of what you want to hit today. I don't care. If, after that workout, I'd probably say, okay, my goal today, I can snatch 100, but my goal today is to snatch 90. So use 90. So you're going to take 65% and you're going to snatch it once. You're going to rest one minute. When that second hand gets to the minute, you're going again. So if I got these two guys that are teams, He's going to go, he's going to go. And then when he goes again, he's going to go again. When he goes again, he's going to go again. You have 60 seconds only. You're going to do this for five reps. 65% for one, five singles. 65 for one, 65 for one, 65 for one, 65 for one, 65 for one. Load the bar to 70, 70 for one, 70 for one, 70 for one. Get the idea? 75 for one. You're doing 15 reps in 15 minutes. The clock doesn't stop. It keeps going. So on the minute, you're doing this. Every rep, there has to be a minute going. And as soon as this guy goes, the next guy goes right after it. Once I'm done with the 15 reps, I'm going to go 80% for one. Now I got 90 seconds. I'm being nice to you. I don't like being nice. But Rich is making me be nice. 85% right? <laughs> for one after 90 seconds. No more than 90 seconds. 90% 90 for one, if you can hit it. 95 for one, and 100 for one. But if the frying pan's hot, do the cooking. Right? So you control this depending on how you feel. If you feel good, I have had athletes that have set major personal best doing this. It's called the Joe Mills workout from Joe Mills and one of the great weightlifting coaches from years back. He'd make all of his Olympic weightlifters do this kind of stuff, okay? Now here's the thing. I am an Olympic weightlifting coach. I don't know my butt from a hole in the ground when it comes to CrossFit. I do know that they're cycling stances. For me, I wanna see your feet move. That's the most important thing for me. I wanna see your aggressiveness. When you've got, you know, Isabel and stuff like that that you're doing, I mean, I, I get it. Rich has taught me that that there's, there's different methodologies, but I'm not a CrossFit coach. I want to see you guys today to be aggressive. I want to see you be aggressive against the ground. I want to see you move your feet. If you move your feet, 90% of all missed lifts are attributed to the feet. If you're unaggressive with the feet and you try to catch a barbell or you try to drop into a squat, you will not be aggressive. You pull your ass body down into the squat you drive your body into those lifts. Use those legs. Legs are everything. Create velocity on that barbell with your legs. Your arms are weak, they're ugly, they're, they're slow, but the body, the feet, the legs, the butt, those are the strength muscles that you lift with. And more than anything else, there is no crying in weightlifting, and I want to see your asses aggressive and getting excited on this workout. Put the bar in your back, right there. Now when I say go, I want you to drop straight down. Punch, punch the bar into the squat. Stand by, go. Get down, get your ass down there. Get down, get down. Lower, get down. Stay there. Thank you, Coach Bergner. We love you, Coach Bergner. Get down there farther. And stand. Now that's what you need, shit, don't give me this half-ass squat, Jesus. Get your ass under there. If you're not going to get strong down there, you're never going to get strong anyplace else. Get your ass down there. I don't care if you lift the bar only today. I want your ass down there every time. Stretch your body into position. That's a hinge. That's not a down. The down. The down, the shoulders are directly over the bar. The hinge is you're over the bar too far. Move your feet in. Now go down. Stop. Bring your hips forward slightly. Go down a little bit farther. Stop. Now jump. Thank you. Okay!
leg. Three, two, one, go. You got the workout. Three position snatches with the bar. High hang, mid thigh, good. Don't be afraid to let me hear the feet. As long as you're not jumping 18 inches off the ground, be aggressive with the feet. You're hinging. I don't want you to hinge unless you're doing the, were you doing the hang? Yeah. Okay. Move your feet though, be aggressive. Good. Don't be afraid to use the split snatch if I have to. Hey, do the split snatch. You can do that shit, I wanna see you do it. Don't be afraid of it. I'm telling you, you can be doing it. Same thing as you, you can do the split snatch too. Keep the bar closer. Get your ass down there and stay there. Yeah, now come back up. Gotta get extension. You're jumping and then pulling, not pulling and jumping. Bring your feet in. No, you don't get any power against the ground. Now, only, you're only gonna jump for me. Listen to me. That's all I want you to do. Go. Do it again. Go. Do it again. Snatch it now! No shit. Good. Now, when you do that, go all the way down. Even if you hit it here, ride it all the way down. Good. Move your grip out just a millimeter on each side. Good. Better finish. Get taller. Get taller. Good. Don't forget to finish. That finish is the top position. Don't forget to finish. Even with the light weight, don't forget to finish. Move your grip out. You moved it back in. Arch the back. 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 Yes. Stay down. Lower. Get down there. Lower. Atta boy. Good. You're already looking better. You're already looking better. Just stretch your body into that position. Good. Good. That's not a position. When you're going here, you've already taken away the loading. Stand up straight and jump and land. You gotta jump. You're going, what you're doing is you're taking this weight and you're going down. And now you're telling me, I need, I need this. That's what a snatch is all about. That's a down position. If I go down there and pause and try to go up, I've just dissipated all the energy from my legs. Now, from right here, jump. Jump again. Jump and snatch. That's what I need. That's a high hang snatch right there. So jump, jump, jump and snatch. There you go. That's all it is. Now the finish could be a little bit better. Just remember there's a finish, right? Stay right here. Now, trust me, make your body rigid. I can't, I'm right behind you. Fall into my hands, fall. That's finish, fall. That's finish, fall. That's finish. So when you jump to finish, finish. That's where you should be, back here. So when you go down and you come up, you need to be in this position back here where I'm at. And that's gonna lead you, that bar's coming up, and that's gonna lead you around the bar, okay? When the bar, when you come straight up and down, you're gonna come up, but the bar's gonna come out here to miss your face. I want it to be here. And so the face is gonna be real close to the bar, so I've gotta be finished to get myself around this bar, okay? So keep those elbows high and outside. More aggressive with the feet, even though it's light. That a boy. Your wrist okay on the right side? Stand up. Stand tall. Now jump. Jump. Make your arm, your, your arms are too rigid. Okay. Just jump. Jump. Jump and snatch. Jump and snatch. That's what I need. See, you're taking away the eccentric pattern. Yep. You're taking away that. Stretch reflex. I've taken it away, and now I've got to go. This is the high hang right here. And I go high hang to down. Down is a position. High hang is a position. Down is a position. Finish is a position. 
Those are the things, that's why the hips have got to go this way. Anything other than that, you're screwed. There you go, a lot better. See, you're keeping it nice and close too. Ah, 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 go, go. There you go, right there. Go, good, that's it, nicely done. The three, it's three, you want three unbroken? What, you mean the three percent high hang? The 34, no, the 30 to 40 percent. Yeah, you just. Three straight through? No, 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 no. Yeah, oh yeah, three reps, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're all from the floor. I want to hear the feet more. I want to hear the feet. Okay, good. Don't worry about making love to a freaking barbell. Get that barbell up. You're trying to pop the barbell, right? Like it's your girlfriend. It ain't your girlfriend. It's going to hurt you. Get the hips going up that way. Jump. Jump, jump, jump. That a boy. Shit, yeah. Now control it. Yep. Yeah, you have to do it together. If you got three of you to... Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, we can do that. Think that's better? Yeah. All right. When everybody's ready for the one-minute clock, let me know. Take a knee when everybody's ready for the one-minute clock. When you're ready for the one-minute clock, take a knee. Do me a favor, go to, go to mid thigh. Mid thigh, stay right there. Come up a little bit. Okay, now just jump for me, jump. Just jump, just jump. Okay, do it again. More leg drive, jump. Okay, one more. Mid thigh, now, I want you to jump, but I want you to snatch it. Don't, just jump and snatch, go. That's what I need you to do. That's what I need you to do every single time. Because you're bringing in the bar into that, you're taking a whole nother movement, bringing it in. If you get the bar to mid thigh, just jump. That's a lot more efficient. My ball's up here. Look at me. We're gonna start the clock. We're gonna go off that clock here. Whatever your group in, if person A is gonna go, person A goes, person B goes. If you have to change weight, that's on you. You're gonna snatch one rep every minute for five minutes at that same weight that's at 65 percent you're going to keep the weight on there for five singles and then without any rest you're going to go to 70 percent without any rest you're going to 75 percent all with 60 seconds after that you got five more reps to establish a heavy weight and at that point you can have 90 seconds no more than that now let's get our asses fired up, maintain good technique, proper technique, and let's have some fun doing it. Is that clear? Yes. Yes, All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right, 10 seconds. All right, here we go. Whoa, go. Good. Mama, nice shot. I know it's lightweight, but I want to see him snap your turnover. Yeah. So you got three in your group, so you're just, he's gonna go and then you guys just follow him. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm coming over here now. Nice and quick, just try to keep it a little bit closer. 
Ooh, how do you like that? Tell her to try to move her feet. Tell her to try to move her feet. I know she's an old lady, and so moving her feet are going to be a little bit tougher. But so when you coach her, just tell her, say, move your feet. Okay. She moves so fast, I'm not sure whether I could tell her to do that, but, but I will. Me? Yeah. Your turnover is awesome. Now just keep it close to your body. Okay. Don't let it swing away from you. I love it. Very nice. Oh, she can move her feet. Whoa. Nicely done. Good. Yeah, good job, man. Look at that. Okay, so this weight's going to be, it's lightweight, I know that. I don't want to distract you, but I'm going to put this on the toes. Oh okay. Just don't hit it. If you hit it, she owes me 10 push-ups. Right. Nope. Okay. So, whatever, that is awesome. You're efficient, everything looks really good. You're a turnover, outstanding. Ooh. Are you adoptable? What? Are you adoptable? What? Are you adoptable? What? Are you adoptable? Can I adopt you? <laughs> it, it was. You see how far that bar was from your body? It's like right here. That's, and you're built perfectly for a weightlifter. You kidding me? What are you doing CrossFit? CrossFit's stupid. You mean a weightlifter? Oh, yeah. From where? And where? Okay, well, that's, that, yeah, that's it. Because that is awesome. You really move really well. Oh, there, that's, honestly, that's the best snatch I've seen. Of all the, even the other day you were doing snatches, and that was the best one I've seen. That was unbelievable. Okay, I'm not going to waste my time with you guys. That's awesome. Very, very, very nice. Oh my God, I can't believe it. If you hear me say that, you better repeat it. Ah! Ah! Yeah, be aggressive. More leg drive. Great turnover. More leg drive. Oh. Ooh. Not bad. Is he a pretty good athlete or not? See, is, is he any good? Yeah, is he He is? Can he do front squats with presses? I'm working on it, okay? That looks really good. That looks really good. Good leg drive. That's all you need. Beautiful. Good.
okay, I'll take you. I'm, I'll take you. I'll adopt you. Hey, get your ass down. More. Get your ass down, farther down. Now stretch down there. Yes, now we're talking. Longer step in that lunge. Longer. You got long ass legs. Get them out there. Oh, nice leg drive. Nice leg drive. Excellent turnover. Excellent, excellent. Oh, yes. Nicely done. There you go. Now, see, now we're starting to look like an athlete, right? That's a lot better job. That's a lot better job. So stretch down there on that bottom. Think about getting those hips going up, not out. Get those hips going up and you'll be fine. Keeping it nice and close to the body. I'm going to snatch it again in a minute. I'll be there. So he's up, right? Let me see what you got. No crying. Go, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. You're on the minute, yeah. He and him and you are together, right? Oh no, I've already went. Oh, you already yeah. went? Okay. Go. Good. Okay, let's see what you got. Come on. Don't hit my bar. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Get your ass down. Lower. Up. That a boy. Jesus Christ, I'm impressed. No, yeah, man, you're looking good. A lot better. Ten times better than last night. So what you got? More drive. More drive with your legs. More drive. Do it again. Are you by yourself? Do it again. Do it again. Hey, you hit my PVC pipe, you're gonna owe me a hundred bucks. Atta boy. There you go. Well shit, that looks a lot better than yesterday. A lot better. It looks good, man. Use your legs, use your legs. Oh, what are you doing? Put that thing down to the ground. Now snatch it from the ground. Slow to mid-thigh, then jump. Slow to mid-thigh, nice and slow. Go, 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 go! You can't stop. Go! Atta boy. Atta boy. Good, 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 good. You can't stop. You learn to pick it up from the bar, from the ground, get it to here, then jump like hell. Don't stop, okay? If you stop again and I see it, I'm going to make him do push-ups. Yes, coach. Good. I'm impressed, dude. I am really impressed from yesterday to now. Shit, dude, that is awesome. I didn't embarrass your ass in here, do I? You're not? OK. I did that part with PVC pipe for like to learn. Yeah. But my shoulder's trash. Then don't do it. Yeah, of course. The uh, the split snatch, if you could, if you would do that, yeah. and with and just with the PVC pipe, and then maybe with a a, loom, a cold roll steel bar or a okay. seven pound bar, yeah. you might be able to do it with a split snatch. You're okay. not going, you're not going to be able to do it with a yeah. squat snatch, but the split yeah. snatch. I've been so I've been working. I was here when uh, Sage was here last time. Okay. Yeah. So I've been trying to do the mobility stuff. It's just I've had this for a year. Yeah. And it won't go away. Yeah, I know. Good, good. There's a, um, I, where do you live? Here? Austin. Austin? 
Oh my God, there's, there's got to be. Look up ARP, yeah. W A V E, ARP Wave. Okay. And it's a, um, it's a stem unit. It's not, a, it's not like uh, those little bitty stem things. I mean, these are intense. I had total knee replacement in uh, April 29th. I'm 100%. And I use the ARP Wave as part of my conditioning. It really gets deep into that area. It'll, it'll, I'll guarantee if you have one there, find it, they're awesome. Okay. ARP sure. Wave, look on Instagram. I will, I will, sure, thank you. You're looking good, good guy. Thank You're you. moving well. Thank you. <laughs> nice, excellent turnover, excellent turnover. Be careful, don't bang that bar off the hips. Get the hips going this way, not this way, this way. You understand me? What the hell was that? Holy shit. What was that? What did I tell you earlier about external rotation, internal torque? That's the shit that's gonna keep you from snatching 350. Don't do that shit. And you're holding it. What does holding a barbell do? Nothing. Punch up on that barbell. Come on. I know you're a better athlete than that. Beautiful. Wow. Nice. Ooh. That's awesome. Look, both of you guys right now, when I'm looking at this, this is, both of your hips are going that way. And I love it. Really looks good. Really solid. No, you can't. No, you're, you're going to have your arms in here and all that shit. All right, I got to see my girls over here. Oh, wow, you guys are awesome. Are we we're supposed to be lifting heavy? Are we still what rep are you on? I don't even know where we are. I don't know either. You had five, you had 15 reps before you started moving heavier. Oh. Six, five, 70, 75, so. Huh? That's a... Why are you, why are you bending your arms? You've been watching phoning too much. Don't bend your arms. Very good turnover. Be careful of the head coming up a little bit. They'll take that bar and move it forward. So just try to keep your head flat. Oh, okay. See what I'm at? It's like yeah, here. Okay. That little bit can move it out front when it gets a little heavy. Weird. Good pull, though. You look good. You taught me about five years ago on the internet. So. I did what? I said you taught me about five or six years ago on the internet. So. Ooh. <laughs> Hey. Be careful, you don't want that. Get that going, keep it close, all right? It's lightweight for you, but that bar comes out when it starts really getting heavy, it's gonna go behind you, so be careful. Just keep it close. Stay, stay, stay with it. Don't bounce out of that bottom too soon. That's going to jack you forward. Don't think CrossFit right now. Think weightlifting. Okay. Stay with it. Good. Good. Be aggressive with the feet. Don't pull with your arms. those arms nice and long. Everything's about legs. Yeah. On this. Yeah, are you on the last five? Yeah, 90 seconds. On the last five, you're at 90 seconds.
Whoa! Doctor! Whoa! The hips are amazing! Are you not, you're not Phoning's little sister? Are you Phoning's little sister? You sure? The bar came in a little bit, but boy, the hips, holy crap, girl, that was awesome. Really, really nice. Really nice. Jesus. Whoa! Hell yes! Hell yes! Wowzer! Okay. So I live in California. I'm, I'm trying to tease her, but it's probably lost in translation. She, she didn't understand that. That was a very nice lift. Okay, stay with me now. Come on. No, bullshit. You got one of the best turnovers I've seen. So come on. Big leg drive. Okay. All right. So now, that bar was about right here. So it's close. You got to be careful. Keep it close as you can get it. So the only reason you step forward on that is because the bar was here. As that weight gets heavier, that is really going to make it work. So keep it closer. Okay. The leg drive is spectacular. Spectacular. It's just driving and, and as you're going down. Yeah. I'll, I will... I've, I've got a great picture. I'll show you if I can find it. I, well, I'll tell you what, um, listen, I'm going to wait if things so. Just so, you just take whatever I say and use it the best you can, you can. All right, where's my photos? I can't see shit. So this is what I'm talking about. This is where I want you to be. So we'll just look at it from this point. You got, that's not an issue, that's not an issue, that's not an issue. See that? Okay, so in this position, your bar is another two or three inches that way. And you see that bar? That's a gnat's ass from his chest. That's where it is. And that's, that's what makes him such an efficient lifter. So your bar is getting away from you with this weight, you're fine, but when that weight goes up a little bit, now you got a 50 50 ish, right? But he's, he'll make, he very rarely misses the snatches. So when, when you look at his patterns, and these are doubles, so I don't want to bore you, but see, there's his setup. Now he's lifting up, right? Now he's coming up. Now he's in that good down position. Now he's in extension. See how his extension is? It's not. It's not a, one of these things, but it's straight up. Yep. And now he's going under the bar. See, he, he's not pulling. His feet are still on the ground. Yeah. Now his feet are moving. And look at his elbows higher than the wrist, wrist higher than the bar. His feet are moving out. So he's pulling for everything that he's got. Yeah. But his feet are off the ground. So I can't pull the barbell up if my feet are off the ground. So I'm guiding it. I'm pulling myself under that bar. Look how close it is. Boom. There's the position. And he could sit down there for a week if you had to. So you're, you're, as, as that weight gets heavier for you, you're going to want to be more anxious to really get aggressive. And you're going to have a tendency to have the bar come out a little bit. Now you're such a, you're such a good athlete. You've got a, such a great turnover. The problem is going to become are you going to be able to sustain that? Is it going to be out of position? Or am I going to have to run forward to get it? Yeah. But if I can keep it, if I can learn to keep it nice and close to my body as I'm going under, it's going to be a lot better for you. And you'll probably even snatch more weight. Okay. So good, your turnover and your drive is outstanding.
How are we doing over here? Good? You all done? All right, how we doing, big guy? All right, be aggressive with your feet. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Stay there. Who's your favorite coat? Ah, I didn't tell you to come up. Who's your favorite coat? And recover, good job. <laughs> I love it. Good. External rotation, internal torque. Don't give me this shit. External rotation, internal torque. Oh, beautiful. Good girl. Woo. Great leg drive. Great leg drive. Awesome. You look really good. So Mike's gym is in Bonzo, California, and just, wow. Very nice. Very, very nice. Huh? We're all done? All right, you got, what, three, five minutes? What I have on the board there? Yeah, we got eight minute rest, then we start the clean and jerks only. If you take a look at the clean and jerks, you should be warmed up. If you need to warm up, you can warm up during that eight minutes. 70%, 75, 80, 85, 80, 85. So we're doing a couple waves at the bottom. Then after that, you'll go right into your front squats. The front squats are heavy. You'll select the weight, there are no percents. The front squat, a set of three, a set of two, and then five singles moving up in weight. That last single should be fairly intense, okay? So, the snatches are over, eight minute rest, you did a good job. Anybody get a PR? Oh, you got a PR? Oh, good job, awesome, give him a hand. And he's, he's told Rich just now that he is, Leaving Mayhem, and he's coming to Coach B's in Bonzo, California. So, and I got, and I got, the, I got her as well. She's coming as well. So we're we're gonna we're gonna start our weightlifting team. All right. So in the clean and jerk, you got eight minute rest. If you need to warm up, you're gonna do it during this time. Jump the bar to seventy percent of what do you want to hit that day today, and you're only doing a single with it, right? Seventy five percent, eighty, eighty five percent. And in between here, you're between 60 and 90 seconds rest is all. No more than 90 seconds, and if you can keep it under, under 90, that'd be great. So, and then when we get to the front, the front squats, right after this, you're already warm, guys. Give me a set of three. Don't take it all the way back down to the bar. That three right here should be pretty much what you end with here. And then add a little bit more, and then these five singles should be reach up and grab you right by the ass because it needs to be heavy. Okay? All right, let's go. Good job on those snatches. Those look really good. Well, I'm impressed. I really am. Get your ass down there and stretch in that bottom position. And then look, out, look up under, uh, on Instagram, there's a guy called uh, Knees Over the Toes guy on Instagram. Follow him and do all that stuff. It's zero, it's zero program. Do that program. You'll do it. You'll be good. Okay, I got, I got something for you. Come here. Take this bar and do a front squat for me. Okay. Now keep your back nice and tight. Now press it over your head. Oh, you think maybe we need to work on some mobility? Press it over your head. Press it. Get it up there. Press it. 
One more. Press it over your head. Press, press it! And put it down. Okay, you're, you're not a p I'll say that for you. That's outstanding. Now do that every frickin' day as part of your warm up. And you, you'll be amazed. If I saw you in two months, you'll be amazed. If you do this shit the right way, you'll be amazed at your progress. What, what was that? Are we now doing forearm curls or are we doing drives? Then do the drive. Don't do a forearm curl. Drive with your legs. That's better. Yeah, put it down. Now, I want you to grab the end of this area and I want you to take this hand. See how my thumb is? Yes. I want one long thumb and then I want you to take that knuckle that end of the thumb and put it right on that knuckle, all the way out here. See how wide of a grip that is? I'm serious. And what are you going to lift with then? You can't do this shit anymore. What are you going to lift with? Legs. Then let me see you do it. Give me legs. Don't give me that arm pull stuff. Move that thumb out wider. Bring it out to the knuckle. All right, now trust me on this. Come on, let's go. I want to see you use your legs. Come on. No shit. Now do it again. I want to see you do a, a full clean. Don't give me that. Get your hands out there. Give me the leg drive you need. Leg drive into a clean. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Stand, do it again. I want a full clean. I don't want a power clean. Power clean's for sissies. Full clean. Get down, get down. That a baby. Good girl. Outstanding. Good job. Yeah, she's moving to California. I just talked to her. I'm going to pay her $100,000 a year and she's going to she's going to clean my house. She's amazing. Hey. That bar was a gnat's ass from her chest all the way up that pattern. It was unbelievable. And, and she's making, uh, what's the other girl's name? She's making Taylor better. Because all Taylor has to do is watch her and she'll see it. Good. Nicely done. I, w I would tell all you guys, take wider grips. Unless you have some kind of a shoulder exercise, shoulder issue, Take a wider grip so that you'll keep the upper body away from it. The upper body does nothing except guide. Your lower body is everything. So take a wide, I, for me, I take a grip that's, there's one thumb all the way out to a thumb and a knuckle. And that way it keeps this action out of it, but this action's everything. And then when I'm moving my feet, the wider the elbow or the wider the grip, the faster I can get my turnover. Let me have your attention just for a second. Listen up. There's a couple things I want to I want to have you work on. Unless you're over here, I want you to start think about this. Most people that get involved in the CrossFit world, they're used to coming from maybe a bodybuilding or just general upright row world with the the Olympic lifts. <clears throat> people neglect to understand that the wider the grip on this clean will make me have a faster turnover, right? So when I grip this bar, I want you to play around with this, but I don't want any narrow grip on this barbell. I want you to start out with a thumb and then a half a thumb. I want that grip out there to keep the arms out of it until you start going under the bar. The only time the arms are pulling is when you're going down. So if I have a wider grip, it's going to turn over the elbows faster than a narrower grip. And I don't have to pull it as high. I don't have to drive it as high. Same thing with the jerk. You can have that narrow grip, but you've got to go farther. 
if I widen that grip out, so if I clean it wide and my hands come in, stand up, get your hands back out and jerk it from out there. Try it out and see what it feels like. So I don't think I've ever had anybody that's gone back to a narrow grip from that wide grip. So play around with it. Good. 305, 315. Good. Okay. Oh, that's good. Looks good. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Little soft on the clean, but the jerk looked awesome. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. I would stay tighter on the clean. But that jerk was amazing. It looks really good. Good speed. Better drive. Got to have great feet, but I need a better drive. But great feet. Are you a power jerker? Up, up. Good. Nice, switch. Yeah, yeah, you guys should be on now. You should be working. That, the last one you did was really good. Okay, now what you want to do is when that front leg drives out, you don't want that knee. See how the knee's coming forward? Because all the weight's going forward. So what you're looking for when you're doing this, you're looking for this foot to come out there, but you want to have the midfoot back to the heel. And you want the shin to be perpendicular, the torso to be nice and straight, this back leg to be slightly bent, and the weight on the back foot should be uh, pointing forward. So those are the five points that you're, that you're looking for. So just think about getting that out there a little bit farther. Now bend that back leg a little bit. Now turn the knee, heel, uh-uh, the other way. Right there, don't move. Torso straight. Okay, wiggle that front toe. Take this over your head. Okay, bend the back leg a little bit more and bring your hips forward. Push the knee back, slide in. There you go. There's your position. That's what you should feel right here. That looks really good. So I've got performance one, performance two, performance three, performance four, and performance five right there. I'm dialed in to all the positions I need to be in. That looks really good. Now feel that. No, notice that when you step back to recover, you automatically step back. The one that you just did where I started correcting you, you would have automatically stepped forward because you were going forward, okay? So not bad. Yeah, just work on that footwork. Is it? Oh, God, how old is she? Five months, <gasps> on Monday, five months. Look at that. She went to the gym every day, I was pregnant. Oh my <laughs> God, <laughs> yeah, look at her. Yeah, my son, my son has a, was born in June 8th and July 29th. 
Thanks, Ed. Yeah. God, I miss him. Huh? Yours aren't so small anymore, huh? Well, my grandbabies are. Are they? Oh, I got a nine-year-old grandbaby, a five-year-old, and an eight-year-old, and a four-year-old, and then two newborns and another one on Woo! the way. Wow. You're creating a clan. Oh, yeah. I love it. Don't forget to drive. You drive with your legs just like you did before. Yes. You create, you know, check that knee out, push the knee back. No, you look, 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 Yeah, push that knee back. Also, remember, look, at, look, at, you don't want to white wash the tight rope. You, if, you're, if you're in here too much, you don't have a base. Lock those elbows out. Anytime that bar's overhead, those elbows need to be locked out. Okay? That's bullshit. I wouldn't let you guys. If you were at my gym, I wouldn't let you do it. How would you bring that? I wouldn't. I wouldn't let you power clean. And you may receive it in the power clean, but I'd make you squat it. And the, the the bottom line is is the difference between a clean and a power clean is only the weight on the bar. The pull's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. The problem is is that on power clean, big guys like you try to pull it up with their arms instead of driving it up with the legs. A clean is a missed power clean. That's all it is. It's just a missed power clean. The pull's exactly the same. Everything's exactly the same. The only reason you could receive it higher is because there's less weight on the bar. So in your place, I probably wouldn't have you back squat for a long time, and I would have you front squat mostly. All my squat workouts would be front squats so that you got so used to doing everything in that full clean position. I wouldn't let you, I wouldn't let you power clean. I wouldn't let you power snatch either. And you're going to have a falling off of performance, but then all of a sudden, as time goes on, that performance is going to go way out here. So it's, it's just, I'm mean enough to make you do it. And most kids don't like that shit because they, I can do more now doing this. They don't want to suffer the consequences, right? So later on, all these buddies are, are following him and they're beating, their, beating his ass now that he used to beat, all because he wants to power clean everything. Only squat clean. Only clean, only clean. And then two months from now or less, then you'll know the difference, understand the difference, and you go back to power clean. Power clean is a great movement. Yeah. You guys kill me with this pound stuff, <laughs> Jesus. Look at that shelf. Beautiful shelf. Very, very nice. What's your body weight? Kilos. Kilos? Ninety. Ninety. Eighty nine, ninety. That's awesome. And you're from Brazil? Look really good. I look like China. China Lisa. No, you don't. Oh, there you go. Nice, Lucas. Why, why did you take weight off? Yeah, well, you look good, man. Of course, you're only supposed to go 85%, but I know how that goes. When the frying pan's hot, you do the cooking. Looks good. Good leg run. Yeah, this is on your own. But it, the fat last single is supposed to be fairly heavy. So emphasis is on the singles, not Yes. Oh, yeah. The, I mean, if you're already warmed up, you don't even have to do three, two. Just do your five singles. You should be already warmed up. Hey, if you guys, if you're starting your front squat, if you're warmed up as you should be, don't even worry about the set of three and two. Just go right into your five singles. But when that, when that last single comes in, I want that sucker to be heavy. I don't want it missed, but I want it heavy. Okay? Good. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Wow. Nice. 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 You go, big dog. 
Nicely done. Nicely done. Good leg drive. Excellent. And, and when you make these singles, make sure they're ass to grass. Not, not standard. Hey, on the front squats, not hips below the knee. I want the ass to the grass. All the way down. No sissy ass squats. Good. Boom, 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 boom. Lock it out. Check that right arm for him. Quick, good speed. Nicely done, good speed. Slow it down, you're losing position. You're pulling that bar off the ground with a rounded back, and you're so quick. I mean, you're quick, your leg drive is awesome, but you're ruining it with that shitty position. So what ends up, yes, get set. Get set under the bar before you lift it. You can do the dynamic start, but if I lift with my back like that, you're gonna hurt your back. So take your time, get set, make everyone count the right way each time. Now, if you're doing Isabel or whatever the hell it is, then that's one thing, but you know, when you're here doing this kind of stuff, get that set up done right, lift with your legs, do everything the right way, okay? Well, you're, you're just developing bad habits and you're gonna hurt your back. I mean, you, you learn to pull with a rounded back like that, you're gonna kick your ass and it's gonna hurt. But if you get set up the same every single time, when, when my athletes are doing high hang stuff, I make them deadlift the bar the right way, just like they're getting ready to pull it off the ground for a snatch or a clean, it doesn't matter. They have to do it the right way to put it in position because what's the fundamentals? Stance, grip, and position. There's a starting position. Your starting position sucked. So you got, there's five points of performance on the starting position. One, the feet need to be, you know, in the center of the bar. The second thing is hips higher than the knees. The third thing, which you're not doing, your back needs to be flat. Shoulders need to be directly over the bar or slightly ahead of the bar and the face needs to look straight ahead. Those five points of performance need to be hit. And if you miss one of those, you could screw yourself up later with creating bad habits when the weight gets heavier, okay? Well, you're, you're an athlete, but don't, oh, this sucks, this is easy weight, so I'm just gonna, no. You treat every weight the same, you move your feet, you get set up the right way, then when that weight gets heavy, you know exactly what to do, the body knows exactly what to do. Consistency is the key. Ask the grass, ask the grass. Good. Luke, is that, where you, is that where your clean grip is? Try to think in terms of where you're front squatting. Make sure the clean, yeah, you're too narrow. So make sure that your grip's the same if you can.
Go rack the bar, rack the bar, rack the bar. Move your grip out, get your ass out there. Way out, get him out there. Yeah, by two thumbs. Here, let me see. And you don't have to use the hook grip here. Okay. So here's, put your thumb up there. Okay, there's your one thumb. Now bring your thumb to there. Thank you. Same thing. Now that's, same thing, that's where you're going to clean, that's where you're going to front squat. Now go underneath it. No hook grip, you don't have to have a hook grip. Okay, go on. Wait, look straight ahead, suck in air, and squat. Up, one more, suck in air, squat, up, and rack it. Good girl. Nice squat. Good. Go! Keep driving those elbows up. Get those, get those hand out where you're going to clean it. How are we doing? Good. Beautiful. Man. Still like freaking octopus, right? Like. Well, I thought I would adopt her ass in a heartbeat. <laughs> She's good. She's got it. No, you don't. Good job, Lucas. That's much better. Get your ass down there. Keep going. Now stand. You gotta live in the world, dude. You can't live in the half world. You gotta live in the world. If you're gonna play in the world, you gotta live in there, right? Get your ass down there. Good. It, it, it kills me to see guys missing cleans. They can't come out of the can't come out of the clean because they front squat, you know, hip below the knee.
Good squat. Now just move that grip out a little bit, Water. <clears throat> yeah, you want the same grip as you clean. The front squat's the same grip as you clean. Is it? Yeah, you don't want to be in here. You're not going to clean in there. I don't have bad habit being like here. We'll break the f***ing habit. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Sorry. Look, you want everything to carry over. All right. Everything. And so if I do the narrow grip, I don't clean like that. I clean with a wide grip, squat with a wide grip. Makes freaking sense. And you guys need to put your butts to the ground. It doesn't do me any good to be caught in a heavy clean and I can't get out of it because I don't squat down there. Where you get caught in the deepest clean that you go is where you need to be front squatting to. Even if you have a falling off of performance, that will be built back up again. Squat your ass to grass is what you need to do. Okay, I want you to take those two end plates off. And go back under the bar. Okay, get rack the bar. Move the grip out wider. Right there. Put it on your shoulders. Step away from it. Take a deep breath. Squat all the way down. Keep going. Get lower. Lower! Get up! Don't close your eyes, you can't see anything. Okay, take the weight off. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do it again. Now stay down until I bring you up. Don't come up until I say recover. Take a deep breath. Lower yourself down. Get lower, lower, lower. Get your elbows up. Lower, get lower. Lower! Stand. Recover? Good girl. That's where you need to squat. Even if I have to lower the weight, I want you to squat in there and gradually come up because you're going to clean more weight in the long run when you go down there. Right now, you're going to get buried in a clean and not be able to get up with it because you've got weak legs because your hips are only going as low as the knee. I need your butt all the way down as low as you can go. Stretch your body down there. Okay? I like that a lot better. I'd rather have you miss like that than make it when you're that, you know, below the knee. That's a good job. Now we got a lot of work to do with the lumbar and the upper thoracic spine and those kind of things, but you got potential. Hey, young lady. How are you? How are you? Good to see you. Good seeing you too. How are you? Oh, well, I'm trying not to watch Layla. She's coming this rope and then like swinging over onto the <laughs> thing. And I'm like, wow. How are the, what kind of cows you got up there now? The cutest things you've ever They're from seen. Scotland or someplace? They're Highland cows. They're Highland cows, yeah. They're real cute. I think I saw them in Ireland or Scotland or someplace. Yeah, they are. Are they friendly or can you? Two of them are. Two, Two of, them of them are. Two of them are like halter rope. The kids like walk them around. How do the buffalo handle them? They're not in close. They're not in? No. No. You ever going to cook them? Gonna... No. No. What's wrong with you? I knew the answer to that. She's going to have cows for pets. I don't believe it. What have you seen? You don't get it. I've seen. I've, I stalk you on Instagram, so I see what you got going out there. Okay, let's bring it on in when you're done. Yes, sir.
Church, almost 1,300. Jesus, can't believe it. Make sure you get this place cleaned up. Who is that barking? Is that Gipper? Is that Gipper? I'd, I'd take Gippers like Hank. <laughs> Hank. Hank's special too. The dumbest dog I've ever met in my life other than Gipper. He's a ball, he's a ball whore, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I think we got everybody here. Um, I hope you like that workout. I, this is one of my favorite. Uh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 
Yeah, that's one of my favorite workouts I like to do. Any anytime that I could do that Joe Mills workout on the minute, my athletes that, that are weightlifters and not CrossFitters, they're weightlifters, uh, always love doing that. And uh, when when recovered the properly, a lot of them would get personal best, you know, PRs in the gym, uh, and they would set them up for a weightlifting contest. Uh, uh, if you've never been to a weightlifting contest, it's a jockeying around of up weights. You might warm up too soon, then you have to back down and do all these waves of warm ups and stuff. And this really is an opportunity to prepare the athlete for the competition that they, they might have to go into. A couple of things that I want to just throw out there for you. Number one, anytime you're doing your squats, your cleans, your snatches, Get your ass down while we're practicing. I'm not talking about in the CrossFit workouts and the things that you got going. But when you're practicing and you're working out, get your butt down into the depth that you need to be. There's, I've seen this happen a thousand times that uh, CrossFitters especially, weightlifters too, <laughs> they'll do the front squat to standard, the hips below the knees, that's the standard. But then they'll receive a clean that's a heavy clean and their butts will be all the way to the ground and they can't get up with it. That in infuriates me. So my athletes squat butt to the ground. So if you will squat butt to the ground, get your body loosened up and stretched down in that position, in three or four weeks you will become much stronger than you are and your clean will go up than it is when you're just going hip to standard. Okay? So that's the first thing I recognize. The double knee bend. The double knee bend is nothing more than the dip and the drive. That's all it is. Whether I do the high hang, which is right here, the high hang is not this, guys. That's the down. That's why stance, grip, and position. This is the first position, it's called the high hang. We always use that hook grip. When I hit that down position, that's a position. And then the up position is just straight up and down. But down and finish takes that upper body and prepares me to pull myself around the bar. I go to the bar, the bar doesn't come to me. So I have to learn to go to the bar. And when you start banging the bar off the hips and the bar gets away from you without you keeping it close, that is really going to cause you, as the weight gets heavier, it's going to cause you issues. You're going to have to jump forward to get to the bar. And then there's a whole lot of air issues there. So if I can keep that bar within the area of the base, which is those toes, as I'm doing this, I'm okay. And if I bring that bar into the hips and I, and I bang it here, as long as that bar goes back up and stays within the area of the base, that's okay. But in reality, when I go from this position and I go to jump, what's my knees do? They come back under the bar. Just like I'm jumping here, I'm jumping from here where the knees go. They go back under the bar. Jump's a jump. So whether I'm jumping from here or I'm jumping from here, it's the same thing. That's why I don't have to think about it. I just get the bar to mid-thigh and jump like hell. Drive like hell. The double knee bend, that loading automatic takes place. It allows me to do the vertical hips, which is more efficient in my opinion. That's what I'm shooting for, right? That's what I'm after. The grip. Almost every one of you guys were in too narrow of a grip. And when I'm talking about that, I'm talking about if I'm going to clean and I use a two-thumb clip off the clean because my elbows need to be faster, the only time I wouldn't allow my athletes to take a wider grip is if they had shoulder issues. Then they would be better with a narrow, narrow grip. But if they got shoulder issues, if they didn't have shoulder issues, I want a wider grip. And then I want them to front squat with the same grip. Why would I use a narrow grip on the front squat if my clean grip is out here? I want it the same. Everything's got to be the same. Okay? Uh, the last thing I think, I talked about the bar close, the leg drive. Oh my God. Let's take pull out of our vocabulary unless we're going under the bar. We want a leg drive. I mean, I watched some pretty good lifting today with some outstanding leg drive. Then I saw some pretty shitty lifting with upper arm pulls. Uh, you don't want that. It's like I said earlier, it's core to extremity. My core is strong, it's fast, it's explosive, it's aggressive. The mental aspect of, uh, is what it's all about. These are weak. I can't move out here. I'm slow and weak out here. I become a little sisters of the poor out here. 
I want to be able to drive with the legs. Drive. I want to pull my body down. I want to drive the bar up, create an acceleration and velocity on the bar, elevation on the bar, and then I want to pull myself under it. You guys should watch these lifters over here. I mean, I'm, I was, there's about six of them I'm stealing from Rich. Right? They're coming to California and become weightlifters. <laughs> anyway. That, I'm telling you, this was awesome. You did a good job. Thanks for putting up with my shenanigans. But uh, there it is. If you ever need to get a hold of me, MikeBergner at Mac.com. Call Rich or Sarge. Sarge's got my contact information. Don't be afraid to ask any questions. It keeps me out of the, uh, keeps me out of the yard. My wife's a yard Nazi. I hate working in the yard. So if I'm working with coaching people, I don't have to work in the yard. So don't hesitate to call me. Right, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it.